Hey everybody, uh, what you're looking at here is a fresh install of Atmel Studio 6.1. It's the April 2013 edition. And uh, if you've been following some of my other videos, I've showed you how to uh, program your Arduinos uh, in Megas using uh, the Atmel Studio uh, platform, um, most specifically with the, the aid of uh, uh, the scripts developed by uh, Omar Francisco. And she did an excellent job. But what I want to show you here is, uh, is another tool you can use to uh, program your Arduinos and Megas uh, and other various uh, Arduino boards, uh, including the new Dewey. Um, that's still in beta, but uh, it, as long as you don't add any external libraries, you can still use this uh, add-in for uh, Atmel Studio. Um, the name of the program is uh, Visual Micro. And, uh, if you've uh, seen my videos, I did a, a Visual Micro uh, video for uh, Visual Studio, and, and it works quite nice. Uh, the only drawback to that was you had to buy Visual Studio, which can be quite pricey. Uh, but the Atmel Studio 6.1 is a uh, is a free program, so this should really open up uh, the avenues uh, uh, for programming the platform with a halfway decent IDE like uh, the Atmel Studio 6.1. Uh, with the aid of that Visual Micro add-in, uh, it's it's a wonderful uh, add-in for this uh, uh, Atmel 6.1 platform. Uh, so anyway, uh, if you haven't already got your uh, Atmel Studio, you can uh, just go ahead and jump on over to atmel.com, and uh, right over here in our support links, it says download Atmel Studio 6. And right here it is. You're going to want to grab the uh, the full installer. Uh, it's copy. It's a build 2562, uh, dated April 2013. So go ahead and grab that. Get it installed, and then uh, you can jump on over to, to Visual Micro. And it's just uh, visualmicro.com. And uh, you can grab the, this add-in and. Uh, as you can notice from the uh, the highlighted text there that uh, the debugger is now included with the latest plugin and it gives you a 30 day free trial to, to play with it and uh, if you like it uh, by all means uh, license it uh, currently it's only fifteen dollars which is a heck of a buy so anyway uh, what we need to do here is uh, come down here and uh, we can download the Arduino IDE and uh, uh, I want to uh, download the current beta, and that's over here. That's uh, May 13, 2013. You can go ahead and choose the uh, 13059 if you wish. I'm going to grab this one, and I've already downloaded it, and uh, it's ready to go in my other folder. Uh, but before we get too carried away here, I want to make you guys aware of one thing. is uh, Atmel Studio users, please click here for important information, and it's very important that you do. <coughs> because what we need to do is we need to install a patch for Atmel Studio in order to use the debugger. Uh, just click here right on the word patch and it brings us in here and explains what we need to do. It, if, uh, if you're installing a fresh copy of Atmel Studio 6.1 and this new uh, version of the debugger you are going to need to patch these files I guarantee you and then we'll grab these files and then we're going to put them in our Atmel 6.1 installation directory under our uh, Atmel 6.1 extensions applications so go ahead and uh, just click on that and it's going to bring you this download page I've already got them so we don't need to go through that So let's go ahead and, and uh, install this plugin. You'll notice uh, right now it's just a plain Jane fresh install. I'm going to go ahead and shut this down. And then we're going to go into here. And I've already got all my files downloaded. This is uh, the uh, Atmel Studio 6.1. I've already got it installed. I didn't want to bore you to death watching that install. But I did want to go over this install for the uh, uh, Visual Studio. So this is the uh, Visual Studio or the Visual Micro plugin for uh, Atmel Studio. 
I'm going to go ahead and run it. And the, the standard default is fine. And we'll just click next. Okay, installation completes, and we go ahead and close that uh, installation script. And like I pointed out here in the uh, the website uh, for the Visual Micro, that we need to install this patch in order for Atmel Studio to use a Visual Micro debugger. Um, it's not hard to do. This will be fixed in the next release of the uh, Atmel Studio uh, 6.1. Uh, but for now, we're going to have to install the patch. But it's uh, it's relatively easy. Again, we, we downloaded it already. Uh, the zip file. I went ahead and extracted all the files. They're all here. So all I need to do is we need to just go ahead and copy all these. Then we need to point it, uh, paste them into the folder where our Atmel Studio installation is at. Um, the instructions are again are. Uh, right back here if we click on that it'll tell us exactly where we need to go the Atmel Studio 6.1 installation directory in the extensions application so if I just uh, drill down through here this is going to be I have a Win 7 64-bit uh, installation um, that's why uh, we're seeing this program x86 files and drill down through here, It'll be back up towards the top. Our Atmel. And then we have our Atmel Studio 6.1. And we come down to extensions and applications, just as it's set up here. So then uh, I just go ahead and then right click and go ahead and paste those into that folder. And there's already some kind of uh, file here we want to go ahead and overwrite them. So we'll just hit copy and replace. We'll hit copy and replace again and a third time. And we'll just uh, go ahead and continue for the administrator permission. Okay, now we've copied all those patch files into uh, our uh, Atmel Studio installation directory, so we should be good to go to go ahead and fire uh, Atmel Studio up. So let's go ahead and uh, give her a click. <coughs> And the first time you run it, it's going to say it wants to please specify the location of your Arduino program folder. Uh, the plugin needs to know where you've installed the Arduino 1X uh, applications. If it's not, not already installed on a computer, you need to download it. Um, and it's also recommended that you put that into generic folder names such as C Arduino, Arduino IDE. And this allows you to upgrade in the future without needing to change the configuration of the plugins. So uh, looks like he has a little download button here where you can just download it directly. Um, so what, the easiest way to get your path is wherever it's at. I use the uh, Windows Explorer here. And I, I just threw mine in my documents folder. It's Arduino. And you click down through here, yeah. So I just click up in the title bar now. It's going to give you your path. We just copy that. And then come back to the uh, dialog box right click and paste it in and we click OK and it says uh, try or buy the optional Arduino USB debugger. The Arduino development is easier and more fun using a debugger. Uh, if you have a license key for the serial USB debugger then we can enter it now. Uh, if you purchase a license but not receive a license key then please check your junk mail. If you do not uh, yet have a license key then you can start a 30 day free trial. Um, a permanent license key for the debugger can be purchased using the PayPal for uh, approximately $45. And I do know that currently you can buy that uh, license for $15, which is a heck of a bargain. So uh, we've gone, we've are, we have read and understood it. And if you want to buy a license, I highly recommend you guys do. If you want to try your 30-day trial, that's great. Just go ahead and hit your 30-day trial. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I have a license key. I'm going to put it in here, so I'm going to pause the video for a second. When we come back, we'll go to the next screen. Okay, then you're going to see this acquiring full license, and it happily uh, activated my license. 
on your trial to probably uh, tell you that it has activated your 30-day trial. Um, it has opened up a visual micro auto update. Uh, it says the visual micro for Arduino. Nine. Um, I'm not sure why I'm getting this because I have a one version. I have the beta above this one, so I must think I have a, a lower version. But anyway, it's just a, uh, a little update notice. Uh, I'm not. Gonna, I'm going to click uh, no, not to download it or install it. So we're up and running uh, with our Atmel Studio. Um, this is a real easy uh, install. Uh, you're going to see we got a couple boxes up here where we can select the uh, the board that we want to use and the COM port that it's uh, running at. I don't have one uh, connected at the moment. That's why I don't have a COM port listed. Uh, you go to the file menu. You have a couple new items. You have your new Arduino project. Or if you open, we can open Arduino projects. Um, there are tools and there are options. This is going to go into here. And if we drop down, we see a visual micro. This is going to tell us that our license key is registered. Yours will probably say if you used your trial license, it's going to say a 30 day trial and probably tell you how many days your trial you have left, perhaps. There's the available version. It says check for updates. You can turn this off if you want. I'm going to turn mine off. And here's a, my current version that I've downloaded. I downloaded the beta. Um, the RC is version .9, and that's just a, a brief overview of the, uh, the functions there. It's okay. Uh, what else we got here? We on our tools. We have our, our Arduino menu item here. And again, you can select your board, your serial port, your programmers. If you have a program, otherwise you can uh, uh, actually uh, program your Arduinos right through the USB port as usual. On uh, your Platform Explorer, it's, uh, it's kind of a, a different name for Platform. It's actually the Micro Explorer down here. And this is just uh, shows you uh, your, uh, your references on your, your uh, libraries. Um, your example files is the same as if in your, uh, in your Arduino IDE. Uh, you can open up uh, these sketches, example sketches. do a web search and what's new so it's pretty inclusive it's a uh, really slick um, and I'm going to end this video here and in the next one I'll uh, I'll go over uh, creating a new script uh, compiling it and uploading it to the board so uh, highly recommend uh, you go and uh, grab this uh, Atmel Studio 6.1 for your Arduino IDE and uh, get that definitely get the visual micro add-in with that debugger and grab it now while it's still 15 bucks otherwise you're going to pay 45 for it later all right well thanks and if you like this video uh, uh, give it a big thumbs up if you have any questions uh, please leave me a comment thanks